So on third down, the Lions looking to punch it in. Beam brought down and sacked by Rocco DeLeo, who leads the team with three sacks coming in. So Chris Aline will come out. He is 9 of 10 this season. There's a 32-yard field goal attempt. And this one is right through the uprights to put Columbia on the board first, 3-0. With Cooper the lone back. Cooper off the left side. He's got an opening, and he is going to walk right into the end zone for a touchdown. As Dartmouth set the tone on the ground and adds the exclamation point that way, his third rushing touchdown of the season. He is 10 of 11 on the season. And he can make it 11 of 12. As Chris Aline comes through, two drives, two field goals. Columbia within one in the second. Second and seven. They fake the handoff. Lenhart throwing over the middle. Dangerous pass, and it is intercepted by the Big Green. As Dartmouth comes up big in the red zone, Ryan Rogie, the free safety, with his first career interception. 15 yards, they've had three for double digits. Kyler's got all day, rolls out of the pocket. He's got a wide open space on the left side and he crosses the 20 and is knocked out of play. And it looks like they're gonna get a late hit as a flag comes in. The freshman corner filling in for Will Allen. Here's a reverse, more open space on the left side and Drew Estrada is gonna get over the goal line and in for a touchdown as Dartman with a little trickery. Flanhart out of the shotgun. They need three yards. He's going to the ground, and Rocco DeLeo is there to bring him down for another sack. The third of the game for Dartman. Kyler is eight for eight today. As Dartman goes on the ground with its quarterback, and he coughs it up, and Columbia's got it. Hagdorn back to receive. Gets it at the 45, finds some space on the right side. He's still got open space. He is into Columbia territory at the 25 and finally dances out of play at the 20. A reverse and a pass into the end zone is caught by the quarterback, Kyler, and it was Drew Honeycutt who threw it to him, the wide receiver. How about them apples? And it was an amazing ride to be in the NFL, especially coming from humble backgrounds like Compton, California, and Columbia football. Oh, go Lions! Maybe you brought them some luck here in the booth. Ty Lenhart hooking up with Caleb Pitts. You can overthink it yeah. sometimes. So Sue going deep as he's hit. Oh. And this ball is going to be intercepted. Isaiah Swan with his sixth interception of the season. He now has sole possession of first place in the FCS with another opportunistic play. General Buffalo, talk about people that care about football. I mean, you're, you're in a passionate fan base and obviously a cold weather city with uh, even Jordan Matthews saying really not much to do uh, up there but make babies. <laughs> He's right. I, I have a 19-year-old approval. <laughs> but uh, uh, he was an amazing guy, great character, and really healed you beyond just the physical. So. And Dartmouth finds a way to get it to the end zone again. Kyler to Connor Rempel, the tight end. Rempel's fourth touchdown of the season. And they've been limited since Bean went down because Lenhart, too, in terms of known more for his running prowess than his throwing prowess. His suit rolls one down the right sideline. Dangerous pass, and it's intercepted by guess who? Isaiah Swan again. His second interception of the game, the third takeaway for Dartmouth. And that is his seventh interception of the season. Dartmouth trying to keep Columbia out of the end zone. Dartmouth has only surrendered six touchdowns in the first five games, and that's one way to do it. Yet another sack for the Big Green, as Dartmouth's defensive line has been all over the place. Their scoring defense is third in the nation. Right behind fellow Ivy League team, Princeton. They get it to Ryan Young. He's fighting his way towards the goal line, and he is in for a touchdown. Dartmouth victorious 28-12 over Columbia as the Big Green improved to 6-0.